time for moth number three. Here we go. So, for our body, we're just doing some horizontal satin stitch. Oh, <laughs> I'm like, that feels weird. <laughs> I still have this taped underneath. Okie doke. Um, <laughs> I just trace this in the window. couple gaps here. Yeah. Sure. Looks good. Oh, lost my scissors. Uh -huh. Alright. Easy peasy. Now we're gonna do backstitch antenna. I'll drop down to three ply for this. I just thought the six looked a little bit too chunky, but you could do either. Excellent. All right, now we are going to fill this upper wing using a single strand. Oh, why would we do that? All right, so we're going to do split stitch. 
or not. <laughs> so what I like to do is kind of an outline first. I don't know if you could see, I really am splitting a single strand. It can actually be easier to do like a back split stitch, so you come up a stitch length away and then go back down to split the previous stitch. It's much easier. So feel free to do that instead. And just get comfortable, because, come on. Because <laughs> oh, this is a long way to fill a shape. So the reason I went with this is so that we could do fun stuff on top. So you kind of have to decide what you want to do as far as like leaving space for the stuff that's going on top if you want to just not leave any space and um, kind of improvise it. Because if you cover it, right, there goes your guidelines. So what I did is I, I stitched up to these lines here. And at least make a little gap there. Actually, I won't do it at the very edge. But everywhere else I will. And then you have to figure out, well, what about these side lines? Do you want to leave some kind of guideline there for yourself? In the sample hoop I did, just because I wanted to make sure that they were pretty evenly spaced, but I think for this one I won't, just to see kind of what happens. So I'm going to stitch back. Oops. I just looped that. This section along the edge almost turns into like a satin stitch. If you plan to just stitch to the uh, gray line there. I think it's worth doing some actual split stitches and going over that line to kind of blend it. I don't know. That really makes a huge difference, though. Ugh. Well, this is gonna get irritating, huh? Oh. So, for example, do some that actually do go over the line. Also, there is a, well, I guess it's not super dramatic. There's, there's a bit of a change in stitch direction, but I think we're doing okay. It just takes a really long time. So I'm going to switch gears and come back over here. So you can see what this is going to kind of look like.
It's like a little hole right here. I'm gonna fill in. And maybe one right here. So just work on filling. It's all one color, so you don't have to worry about any kind of blending or anything. Or making perfectly spaced, perfectly lined up split stitches. Just Fill up the space, whether that you like to do it in rows or you like to do it in columns or whatever. Hopefully you can see how I'm kind of leaving a little bit of a space there that we'll be covering up. Again, don't have to if you just want to oh, keep doing that. If you don't want to worry about it and just fill the whole wing. So you, I don't know if you noticed, like, so here I did, like, the rows, and here I'm kind of doing more of, like, a clump, <laughs> like a column, like a chunk down one side. <laughs> and then kind of poking around up here, I go, oh, it looks like I have a little gap right here. So you, it's up to you what your brain likes to do with that. You like it a little bit more standardized and precise or just kind of a whatever just just fill with sh with stitches <laughs> just try to keep the stitch direction pretty consistent and or I mean we're just trying to fill and kind of make it smooth. It's just too big of a space to just do satin stitch, so here we are. All right, I'm gonna keep going. And when I'm done filling this wing, I'll show you what to do next. Awesome, so I went ahead and finished filling in this wing and it almost took forever, but not quite. And yeah, there's nothing really else to say about that. I think I got a little bit bigger with my stitches, kind of made it seem to go a little faster. Um, but here we go. All right, so you can see now that line I left myself. And again, if you want to do that for all the other lines as well, you can. I just did that. So, um, as far as this back stitch goes, basically the way I have it designed here is, so we have, let's see, I did one, two, three, four, five, six back stitches, and it looks like I made smaller ones up here, and then they got bigger. Here I just did, like, even spaced ones. You can do something like that or I think I'm just going to do them even for for the one I'm demoing but what I did do is I lined up the blanket stitches with the back stitches and all that basically means is like so you know if we did five back stitches we would do five blanket stitches that's all I'm trying to say okay so if you care how many uh, the, of the blanket stitches there are and that's going to create the lines coming out this way then you know count your back stitches if you don't care then just just get in here <laughs> okay so hopefully we won't be too disruptive of our 
base stitches when we do this. And if you do disturb them at all and you feel like you need to go back and fill in gaps, you can definitely do that. But I'm just going right on this guideline that I left for myself. I thought I was doing five, but it looks like I'm doing six stitches here. Awesome. All right, so while I have this all ready to go, I'm gonna go ahead and do the straight stitches here. You can skip them, you can do a bunch of them, you can just do one, you can do two, whatever you want to do. So what I did is um, I, I am aiming for three. So the top one being the longest and the bottom one being the shortest. And I'm just, the stitch direction, I'm just like going along with the stitch direction of that uh, split stitch fill. So here's my long stitch. And then I'm going to do my short stitch. I'm trying to pierce. I don't know if you could see. Let's see. Let me try to make it split again. So you see right here when I come up, it's like kind of making a hole. Like you can see it kind of, I don't know what the word for that, but it's kind of <laughs> splitting along. It's splitting between stitches and kind of accentuating that. So I try to actually come up through a stitch, through a single strand, if possible. So there's the bottom stitch. And I wanna make sure you can still see some of this lighter blue under here. And then we'll do the middle stitch down the center of those two. So the tricky part is to try to mirror that on the other side. And you just do the best you can. You can kind of use um, different things here as kind of reference points to try to center it. All right, so then the last thing we're doing here is the little blanket stitch detail. So we're going to come up on the outside of our, um, <sighs> words are hard, backstitch, <laughs> and I am going to come down, basically even with this mark here, but at a point out this way, if that makes sense. It might be easier to just show than say. So I'm going to go down here and see when I did it on the sample hoop, I didn't go all the way to the edges. You can if you want. You can go beyond the edge or you can just kind of go near the edge. And again, I'm trying to split stitches when I go down. And I'm keeping my thread to the side here because I am going to now come up at this point just kind of next to where these stitches meet. And I am going to catch this loop like so. And then we'll do it again. So the next one will be out like that. So I'll go down here and then up to catch it. Like that. And again. So if my back stitches are evenly spaced, these will be evenly spaced as well. 
And if you're finding this too clunky to use this these six strands, you can definitely go down. It is pretty thick. It's definitely tight here. So at the end, I'm just going to go I'm just going to go down and finish it like this. Okay. So if you want to see where is it? Here we go. How it looks on this one. And basically, I'm not going to stitch any more of this because it's it's just the same. So for the bottom wing, we're just using a different color, but we're filling it the same way and then adding these same details on top. So continue. <laughs> um, but you can take a look and see how I did those versus here. Kind of see which one you like better. I mean, they're pretty similar. I feel like my angles here look a little high, but I think they're fine. So I'm going to keep it. And yeah, that's it.